Hey everyone, are you ready to be fired up? I've got Sabrina Shaw here. She is with Tulsa, Ari Tulsa, Oklahoma. Tulsa, Oklahoma. Tulsa, Arizona. She's at Tulsa, Oklahoma, and she is here. Uh, one of our top producing secret authors for top, our top producer secrets launch. Um, if you want to see, uh, to get a copy of her chapter, go to kristenrayshore.com forward slash secrets. Write that down right now. kristenrayshore.com forward slash secrets. And Sabrina, thank you for being here. I am so glad to be here. I'm super excited. So excited. Okay, so tell me, what is your chapter on? My chapter is winning before you arrive, and it is what to do if you get a listing appointment. What to do on a listing appointment. Okay, mm -hmm. so tell us a little bit about your journey, where you, how long you've been in the business, kind of where you're at, where, you, where you've become now, how long you're in the program, all that great stuff. Yeah, so I have been in real estate since 2018, and I started as a part-time agent. Uh, prior to that, I was in education. I was a teacher, high school principal, assistant superintendent, and then had a life change and changed directions and went into real estate and started as a part-time real estate agent. Um, just simply financially, I couldn't afford to quit my job and found you very shortly after. Um, I heard you on, I think it was like rock star agents. I heard you on a podcast. I was like, oh my goodness, she's awesome. You're giving away a book. Um, I listened to the book and I was like, wow, like it just totally opened my life because I wasn't even on social media and education. Like I didn't know anything about it. And I was like, this makes so much sense. Then you started coming up everywhere on Facebook and I was like, oh my goodness. And I saw one of your trainings and you were doing, you know, you were doing your package and I was like, oh my goodness. Like this is like, it was a, it was a feeling of like, you knew like everything you're saying, like I just wanted more and one and more and one and more as like, this is expensive. I really can't afford this right now. But you just like, you had this feeling like something was getting ready to change. Like just the, like a tipping point and just made it work. Um, you know, we could do payment plans. I'm like, I'm going to get the closings. Like I'm going to be able to do this. Um, fast forward. So get into your program. Oh my goodness. Like I loved, you know, I love getting on the calls with you and gave so much energy, like, and we'll get to like the energy you give and the mental health that you give and like all that, plus the real estate. I was like waking up early, excited to like learn and go through the modules. And it was a ton of work um, for a long time and it was a grind, but wow, was it amazing. And so out of all that, so going from a part-time agent, I was on a team. I don't think I made a check for like probably four months um, for my team. Then I got with you and I think like within six months or a year, like I was on my own. Within a year from that, I was a top producing agent, top 10% of real estate agents in the Tulsa MLS. And um, that's like encompasses like so many counties, like, yeah. you know, our, our whole MLS, like tons of other suburbs, all of us made it to the top 1% and I'll get there. Um, but yeah, and it's all, I mean, it all goes back to your force and to everything that you've taught. Um, and that is, you know, being, being on camera, doing the videos, um, but what I, what I wrote my chapter on as, um, I wanted to write it because as a new agent, you can go in and win any listing. Um, I've never lost a listing. It is, um, what you teach is gold and no other agents are duping it. Mm -hmm. Like when, when you go through it, so just. If you get a listing appointment and let me go, let me go back just a second, because if we do what you tell us to do and we serve and we don't sell and we start being on camera and we start doing those things and people start asking us about real estate, um, we don't have to, you know, we don't have to cold call. We don't have to do those kind of things. And so then people are calling for listing appointments and with your system, you, your system is so robust, like even if you don't implement everything, you're leaps and bounds above everybody. Mm -hmm. So it starts out with, as soon as you get that listing appointment, you do the bomb bomb video or the zoom video. And you taught us how to do that. Like you get on, you look at the neighborhood, their neighborhood, you show them what the neighborhood is doing. You give them a little wider view of the city, mm -hmm. you give them a little wider view of the County. You just record a quick little 10 or 15 minute video. Or even two or three minutes. Yeah, it can be, yeah, it can be, I'm crazy about data. So I get, I get super geeked out and I can probably go overboard. But yes, you could totally do it in two or three minutes. Yeah. It doesn't have to take that long. I'd love to be able to get a copy of one of your, um, 
things that you do, we'll, yes. we'll tack it onto the onto your training. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, because I am, I am, I geek out. Yes, <laughs> yes. Um. So then, so I have this whole listing packet, and that's all part of your project, like the pricing. You know, the pricing strategy, the pricing and marketing strategy. Um. We put the contracts in there. We put why work with us in there. We put um. You know, the seller questionnaire. We have our marketing guide. We have all this material that we're doing from doing the modules in your course that we, you know, that you see and it's pretty and it's, you know, it's branded. Like all we have to do is go into Canva and like put our pictures in, like it's just plug and play. Like it's so easy, but it looks fantastic. And it, and you're dropping all these things off. So the key is like seller, a seller calls. And you're, you know, doing the video that you're sitting yes. at before you even get there. You're dropping off the marketing plan. You're dropping mm -hmm. off the seller guide. You're dropping off the book as a co-author. Yes. And you're dropping off all this material so they can binge watch and consume before you even show up to those seeing appointments. Yes. And then th there's, are you also doing the marketing video as well? Yes. Yeah. Yes. So that right there is So gold. yeah, I, yes. Dropping them off. You know, you have your little, you have your box. You have all the information. You have the videos. So Yes. And then you do, like, immediately afterwards, you record right in front of the house. And you say, hey, I just dropped this off at your house. You know, we've got our appointment in a couple of days. You know, go through this. I'm going to send you an email. You know, then we send the email. I tell them how important it is to watch this listing video. And that listing video, like, I can't say enough about all the um, all the materials that we have. But that listing video shows, not tells, and that's such a difference. Mm -hmm. Because of the things that you do, we have the graphs. We have the data. Because the things that we have, you know, that we do in your program show how we are different. And you're not just telling, like you are seeing it. And that, that's amazing. So by the time you get to the listing appointment, they've watched the video. You don't even have to talk about yourself. Yes. Like you can come in with the confidence. And not only can you come in with the confidence that you can, is a conviction. Yeah. That can better serve, you know, the sellers than anybody else because of what you can do for them, the way that you will market their home. Yeah, and, and, the, and the thing about the marketing video is like it's talking about, you know, retargeting how many hundreds of thousands of views that you're getting on other listings, how you're able to get hundreds of hours of watch time on their video. I mean, uh, you know, that's marketing their homes to prospective buyers. You're beating Zillow by the drawings, right? So you're really showing just what differentiates you from your, from your competition. You actually have a unique selling proposition and the confidence that it gives me. And here's the thing, nobody else is doing that kind of thing. So you can be a newer agent, kind of like you were. Yes. A uh, newer agent and do this these things, beating out top producers because they're just showing up. Right. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, one of the things that I put in um, either my chapter or my presentation, but you can do that ethically too because that's what you gave us because we're working with an agent who is in the top 1%. We're working with agents that are doing this. So if we don't have the watch hours yet, which I didn't when I started, and I didn't say that I did, I said, I am working with agents that are getting these results doing this. Mm -hmm. And it's still showing. Now, I had results of things that I was doing that was working, that was, um, you know, outperforming Zillow, outperforming everything. But when I didn't, I had you, mm -hmm. you know, I had that. So, it, you know, it is being absolutely truthful and leaning on that because you have that expertise. Seeing you evolve has been really a cool thing. I mean, just seeing your confidence and seeing... You know, seeing your numbers, it's just like you've just, I mean, like you said, top, almost mm -hmm. top 1% in your area. Yeah. Um, it's just been so nice to to evolve. So, you know, people would say before, but when I go to a listing event, when people would say, well, why should I hire you? And it's like, because I'm nice. You're like, no, you. they don't even ask now because right. you're already proving your value before you even show up. Right. Like, I, I don't even worry about it. Like, no. I, I'm, I've never lost a listing appointment, um, and I don't even... I don't know why anyone would ever want to go as anybody else. Yeah. Um, I just had, I was having a Botox appointment and um, my injector, she was telling me her mom's selling her house. And one of my best girlfriends, um, she's a real estate agent too. Um, and she's like, yeah, we, we want you guys to sell our house because um, we want you to do the videos. Yeah. And, you know, they've seen our videos and they've been watching our videos forever. And so, um, you never know who's watching you. That's the thing. Yeah. I think people, you know, I can't tell you how many uh, uh, people I've heard say, oh my gosh, somebody says they've been watching me for years and they've watched hundreds of my videos or mm -hmm. they've binge watched me all weekend before I showed up to their home. And you don't even know they, they haven't commented, they haven't shared, they haven't liked, they're just lurking around yeah. watching and they're developing a relationship with you. So when you show up to an appointment, talk a little bit about that experience. What is that like when you show up after you've already 
dropped off all of your materials, your, your book, your, your seller guard, your marketing plan, you sent them to the marketing video. What's it like when you get there? What's the interaction like with the seller? So then it's so awesome because I don't have to talk about me and I, they have time of possession. And you know, like the best conversations are when people are engaged and the other party feels like they're getting to talk. Like really, if yeah, you know, you were talking the whole time and you know, I was giving you feedback and listening, you'd like, that's a great conversation. Like she heard what I'm saying. Um, because they have time of possession. So I'm really getting to know, I'm getting to ask the questions, you know, why are you wanting to sell? You know, how many houses have you sold in your lifetime? What was that like? You know, what did you like? What didn't you like? You know, if you could make a wave a magic wand and have everything go perfect, what would that look like? I like that. So getting to really have that appointment to know their needs, to understand, I don't have to worry about them. You know, I don't have to worry about selling myself. Um, doing the selling for you. Yeah. Like yeah. It, it's sold. I, I'm net real estate investing is pretty darn yeah. good. I mean, yeah. you're competing with other top producers. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure I am. Um, I don't even ask. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're just like, they are. Yeah. Yeah. If I get the appointment, I mean, I'm pretty much just, you know, and I don't mean that arrogantly, you know, I just, I, I don't feel like I'll ever lose the listing because there are amazing agents, um, in my market, like so good. But I don't know anyone that's doing this. And then that's how it just is, is leaps and bounds. Well, and I always say you're always on a job interview, right? Mm -hmm. Anything interview you do is a representation of what they can expect from you. Mm -hmm. So if you're doing all of that before you even take the listing, I mean, mm -hmm. and people will say, oh, nobody's watching that 14-minute listing mm -hmm. video. Nobody, and I'm like, yeah, they are. We track it. They're watching it. Mm -hmm. They're reading the books. They're, I mean, this is their most valuable asset. that they take it very serious. They are educating themselves it's really important to them right i mean I, yeah it's like i can't imagine that they wouldn't watch and we see that they are watching it <laughs> yes yes we can track that yeah and we see that they're watching it and they are um and it's, you know especially now uh with everything that's going on with you know, um nar and you know having to prove yourself that you offer value so i think like i always think it's been so valuable but even more so now it's just a huge differentiator you know to you know to show what you're doing you know what i mean you know you, you know, you were doing things and yeah. doing things. Show, not tell. Yeah. You're showing, not telling. Mm -hmm. Well, and thinking about your, your competing, if you are competing with other people, mm -hmm. they're talking about the old school tactics. And mm -hmm. I always say what part of one of our trainings is like, make sure you ask the seller if they're interviewing other agents, mm -hmm. make, have them show you the results. If they say they're using social media, have them show you how many engagements, how many likes, mm -hmm. how many hours of watch time they can't compare. They're getting you know, 20, 30 views where you're getting, you know, three, four, five, 10,000 views on it. Yeah. With, you know, so you're really, really sure. And, and remember, there's a reason why people market during the Super Bowl and pay $7 million uh, just for a 30 second commercial because they understand the power of getting of exposure. Exposure is currency. The more you can expose someone's house and be able to show it, not just tell it, the more. And what about commission? Like, talk to me about the commission. How, how does, does that question come up? And if it does, how do you deal with it? I mean, it just comes up there, you know, like, you know, what is the commission? I say, I say my rate, you know, this is what, and like, that's not, you know, it's never been an issue. Mm -hmm. and so, yeah. Yeah. They're not fighting you on your commission. Mm -hmm. No, no. Cut it. Because they, you know, they see, you know, they see what goes into it. Um, and they feel like they're, you know, they feel like they're getting something out of it. Yeah. So yeah. yeah not never. just showing them. Mm -hmm. Okay. So talk a little bit also, so you kind of went over the listing process, mm -hmm. right? Again, in her, in the, go to kristamayshore.com forward slash secrets. You can actually see in great detail. The listing process that Sabrina does um, before every listing appointment that has helped her never lose a listing that's amazing <laughs> to actually know and see. Um, what else would you tell? So right now, there's agents that um, they are afraid of this in ear mm -hmm. loss. It's same for buyers, right? Mm -hmm. I feel like when a list to last, I think mm -hmm. now more than ever, it's it's more important to be a, a top listing mm -hmm. agent. Um, I believe that a lot of these buyers are going to go directly to the listing mm -hmm. agent, which makes it even more important. I'm hearing a lot of you've got to get your buyer presentation then well yeah that's important but it's more important to gain more market share gain more listings right um and so it, 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 what's your what is your feedback on what do you think as far as rephrase that question one more time so do you think like i mean are you more concerned with sellers or buyers or like what's your what's your what what do you feel with this all these market changes would be this yeah with all these market changes um definitely the sellers is the safe way to go um I think that I'm not, I'm not worried about it. Yeah. So I don't, um, I know there's going to be changes, um, but I think it's really just going to separate the agents that are giving value and the agents that aren't. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I know that there's going to be changes, um, but I feel like the things that we've done are, are already 
just have us ready and prepared right. and ready to, you know, rise to the top even more because, you know, now I think people will be wanting more. And yes, obviously having the seller, you know, is great. And, you know, just getting those interviews and getting those listings, I mean, it's, you just prepared us for it so well. Like, it's just set up. Yeah, gotcha, mm-hmm. gotcha. But I'm not worried about it. Not worried. Not worried. I'm not worried. We're not worried about it. Yeah. And there's going to be a lot of agents leaving the, leaving the industry. Mm-hmm. So they, it's just in the top, the fear of the crop is mm-hmm. going to outlast some of the best years in my business were when the markets were, mm-hmm. you know, the worst. Right. Because it's just all about adjusting and adapting and changing. And, and there's always going to be changes, mm-hmm. right? And so, like, you're literally winning before you arrive. Like, yeah. you're, that's the, the whole chapter, winning before you arrive. Mm-hmm. How do you take that listing before you even get there? I mean, that is pretty impressive. I love We've heard that often that people have not never lost a list yeah. since they've done that strategy because no one is doing it. Nobody's right. putting in the time. You know, they don't want to spend the money on the, the $20 marketing materials before they show up. It's like, come on, this is a business. You have to do it. And I think that's something that um, I love that I learned from you so early uh, because, you know, um, I'm always hurt. You're always like pounding it into us. Serve, don't sell. Treat your business like a business. Like you are investing in your business and it does cost money. And even though it was hard, like any other business, if you're going to start any other business, you have to have like financial, um, you have to put finances in it. You have to have financial um, resources. And so, you know, I would always, you know, I would put money back into my business and keep doing it and like keep, you know, beefing up my marketing, Mm -hmm. Um, you know, from when I started to, you know, now I do a lot more um, because I can, um, but just, you know, starting out with the things that you're teaching you don't have to spend a ton of money but put money in your business i mean we make a lot of money as real estate agents we do. should put money in the business yeah exactly. you know we should do that for our sellers 100 percent. and you know people get mad when i say a lot of times people are overpaid you know they're mm-hmm. they are being paid too much because they're just putting it on the mls and putting a sign of it they're not really doing much to, to advocate for the seller and to get mm-hmm. them to work um so so again the, so we know the listing the way yeah. every rep mm-hmm. that hands down what else would you say has been have you seen you know from being a, you know a teacher for a principal mm-hmm. superintendent um what else would you say has been some of the biggest needle movers in your business video um because people are seeing me do real estate um the listing videos that we do um you know stop the scroll you know that's what you've always told us um we're in the listing video yeah. like you know, put yourself in them. Actually, my girlfriend and I that I was just telling you about, we're in each other's listing videos because perception is reality and we want people to see us in houses. Yeah. Um, we have fun. You know, we're usually drinking wine in it. Uh, we do something <laughs> to that one, you guys. They know. We do something to stop the scroll. Um, you know, and we always ask for the seller's approval, but they love it. Um, but people watch it. People notice it. And people always, you know, comment on our marketing. So even people that could be... Um, you know, acquaintances or, you know, not really know you, they start knowing of you because they see your marketing everywhere. Mm-hmm. So that has been a needle mover. And mm-hmm. um, so the marketing that you do for your listings um, and repurposing it and, you know, putting it out there, then you're getting, you know, your buyers are calling you, um, you know, you're just getting more business that way too. Yeah. Yeah. Because you're always being seen. Um, and then well, that just have to be doing that. Yeah. It comes organic. Yeah. And then now you're also now kind of like, the, the last couple guests that we've mm-hmm. had that are on, in the top research secrets book are saying it's like they start with one platform mm-hmm. they get re- mostly facebook they get mm-hmm. really good at that they learn how to target people how to retarget their community so they're seen mm-hmm. you know being seen and actually properly distributing the videos is a huge part part of this and what we teach people mm-hmm. but once they've mastered that then they can go to the next platform yeah. right now i know you're doing youtube more mm-hmm. and you've done well with that alicia collins it loves tiktok and instagram it's like but you start with one you are very consistent with it um, a lot of people are afraid of doing video. Like, what would your advice be? I know you were pretty shy, actually. Yeah. Yeah. I'm still pretty shy. <laughs> You're still pretty shy. I'm pretty, pretty shy. Well, you don't act like the pretty shy. So how would you tell someone to get over that? No one cares um, except you. Like, because whenever you're looking at a picture, whenever you're looking at a video, the only person you're looking at it is yourself. And every single person does that. That's human nature. Um, so no one cares that much. Like, get, like, I don't mean, again, it's not mean, but like, you're the only person that cares what you look like. Everyone else sees you like that every day, like, and they like you. Mm-hmm. Um, and if they don't like you, they're not going to call you. Yes. And so video just helps get people that you would get along with, that like your personality, um, and really kind of, um, you know, can keep away the assholes. It's, it's okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> well, yeah. It's like you're attracting the right people, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's so, so true. I mean, and, we you know, research shows that you tend to kind of attract people that are like you. So, mm-hmm. I mean, I've always, like, people know they... 
Either they love me or they don't. I'm kind of crazy and hyper and I have a lot of energy. You either like it or you don't like it, right? People are not calling me, you know, uh, mm-hmm. if, if, that, if they weren't already attracted to me. So half the job is already done. Then you follow it up with excellent, you know, when before you write strategies, you know, before the listing appointments, yes. where your competitors, if they are, have not done any of those things. So it's like, I mean, I mean, I cannot tell you how many times I've heard no one else has done this. Nobody else mm-hmm. dropped off all of this material. Like, I thank you so much. Like, mm-hmm. you know, we were nervous before and um, it just, it gives, that, it gives you confidence. It gives them confidence it's that they've hired the right person. So I love this. This has been so great, yeah. Serena. I've seen you just absolutely soar um, in your in your business and uh, just, you're just a beautiful beautiful soul. And again, if you want to read uh, uh, Zarina's actual chapter and uh, go to kristamasher.com forward slash secrets. Also, um, there is a training that you can also um, decide to opt into where she's going to be going over step-by-step the exact system of what she does and when uh, and the process in her when before you arrive listing process chapter that she's just taken from what we've trained her and just went like crazy on it and totally implemented. You have been a massive implementer. Thank you. It was, it was awesome to be out here with you. And, you know, I love you and you've changed my life. And, you know, for, I mean, for everything, like mindset, mental health, like goals, like you, not only did you, you know, do my, make my real estate career great, like my life is better because of you. And I'm so thankful you're in my life. Oh, I love you. I love you. I love you. So if you were going to give any advice at all, and I hope you guys are just inspired to present because this inspired me. So what would be the one piece of advice, anything personal, business related, what would your advice be to anyone listening? I would say, like, if you know that you're not going to quit, you cannot fail. So commit. No matter what happens, keep going and keep going. You might have falls, but keep going and you will not fail. The only reason you're going to fail is if you stop and you quit. So if there's something that you want to do, pull the trigger and do it and then keep doing it. And it's a, it's a, not a sprint. It's a marathon. And then down mm-hmm. the bricks and you will get there. Uh, such, such good advice. I think one of the biggest mistakes that I've actually seen is people just quit too yeah. soon. In fact, there was a billionaire. Uh, one of my team members told me that this billionaire, they saw an interview and he said the biggest mistake that he sees people making is that they stop too soon, right? Mm-hmm. Like they just, yeah. you know, and nothing is immediate, especially in real estate. People aren't buying houses every single mm-hmm. day. And, you know, the, the there was, was a study that was done that says it's just under a year from the time somebody thinks about it to the time they actually pull the trigger, whether it's buying or selling. So, they're, so the idea is you're educating them, you're developing a relationship, and also you're getting referrals from people that you don't even know, right, that are referring you because they see you as that leader. Sabrina, I appreciate you so much, everyone. Uh, again, tell them where you're from. If you want a great referral from somebody that's going to take amazing care of your clients, whether you're buying or selling, Sabrina Shaw is your girl. She is from... Tulsa, Oklahoma. Tulsa, Oklahoma. Go to kristamasher.com forward slash secrets to get your copy of the book uh, right now. Thanks, everyone. Thanks so much for watching my video. You can learn more about how to be a successful real estate professional by watching other videos that I have. And be sure to subscribe to my channel. And as always, make it a great home selling and buying day.